Summer's coming. The Australian Open on seven. We've done a lot more. Amagro will go right at the big check and tattoo him. This is a love 30. Watch this. Perfect choice of shot there. No real options. A tank in right in the right arm. No acknowledgement from Burdich. Uh, he wasn't happy, but that's part of the game. No problem with the shot selection. You saw the little no look up to his coach there. That gave Burdich three break points, and to his credit, he put his head down. And yeah, he, played three great points. He responded he well. Did. He started thumping serves at impact just on the arm there above the elbow. And you wondered. Will that raise his game, get his attention? It certainly did. Let's check the handshake now. He's uh, very pretty. Good job for Nicholas. You see what it means in the camp. No. No handshake from Bertucci. Blew him off from the crowd. Notice that. I guess that you, you think it's a proper tactic, an old-school tactic. Clearly not appreciated by Burdich. That's too bad. That's a low ball that he hasn't got much court to work with, and he goes straight up the middle of the court. And I think the crowd are giving him the appropriate reaction because let's go back and have a look at the exact shot that this is at love 30. Thomas serving five all. No court to work with. He goes straight down the middle of the court. He tags him. This used to happen a lot, and players are all fine with it. That was not a short, easy put-away ball. That still had to be hit. And listen to the, the roar that Magro's getting as he leaves the court. Yeah, Magro's being cheered yep. by the fans here. And they clearly turned on Burdich based on his this way, unwillingness. This went, yeah. He's about to have this interview here as well, so this will be interesting. The Aussie crowd apparently agrees with you. Fair tactic. Thomas, uh, obviously, obviously a little bit of feeling in the match. Yeah, well, you can say, I mean, it's, uh, it's what they think, you know, and I don't think it's right. And, you know, I think when, when you have a point and... Uh, Somebody wants to hit you straight to your face. I don't see this as a nice moment, you know, especially when you have an all court free and you're just standing in the middle and he just hit you in the face. So, yeah, that's their opinion. Three hours, 54 minutes of engrossing tennis, very hot day, hard opponent. You must be very satisfied to get through. Of course, yes, I am. I mean, it's it's not nothing's gonna change this you know because i think that's my decision and you know i don't see this any any nice feeling you know i'm happy to go through win the four sets really tough one and i'm looking forward to next match you know. looking forward to rafa you've played him 13 times before you've you've had a couple of wins you've had three wins you know you know how to beat him yeah i think it's a pretty far you know that, that i play with him on three matches and uh I will try my best and we will see what's going to happen. Well, I enjoyed the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Burdich. Well, Darren, you're an Aussie. Your reaction to the, the strength of that crowd reaction. I mean, they're just not going to let him go. Yeah, I think his judgment there is misplaced because it, that wasn't a high volley. That wasn't a really short ball. That's on the full run. And that's an appropriate shot in the circumstances with not much court to work with. And he hit it well. He hit it hard. He didn't hit him in the face, obviously. He took, tagged him in the arm. And I thought Thomas shook it off fine as well. He turned around. He used that to his advantage. He got himself out of a love 40 hold. But I thought this was inappropriate. He should have shaken the hand of Nicholas. I didn't think Nicholas did anything wrong there. As part of sport, you play hard. You go for the win.